Well, hey everybody, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to play two more chords on the guitar. I'm going to show you how to play an A minor chord and a B7 chord. And that's going to allow us to play a minor blues. And I'm going to show you how to make up your own song with a minor blues form. We're going to really have fun with this one. Don't forget to download my free beginner guitar guide that's linked below. It's going to help you get the most out of this lesson. So we'll start with the A minor chord. So with the left hand, we're going to put the middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, the ring finger on the second fret of the third string, and then the first finger on the first fret of the second string. And we're going to strum the top five strings of the guitar. You can strum the sixth string as well. It's not going to sound very bad. It's going to sound like this. It just sounds a little bit messy. So we're going to aim to strum those top five strings. Remember, each new chord you learn is going to be a real challenge. And we're going to take our fingers off, put them back on, hammer down like that, trying to get the chord shape to feel comfortable. You can practice in your mind when you're doing the dishes <laughs> or going for a walk. Anything to just burn these shapes into your mind and into your muscle memory. Because there's not that many shapes to learn to be able to play hundreds and hundreds of your favorite songs on the guitar. So that's the A minor chord. Once more, middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, ring finger on the second fret of the third string, index finger on the first fret of the second string. Strum the top five strings of the guitar. Now the B7 chord has a reputation as being a bit of a difficult chord and that's because we have four fingers being fretted on the left hand. So we're going to start off with the middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string. Next we put down the index finger on the first fret of the fourth string then the ring finger on the second fret of the third string and then the pinky on the second fret of the first string. And we're going to strum the top five strings of the guitar. It's going to sound like this. Remember with our left hand, we want our wrist to be roughly straight. We don't want it to be overextended or bent too much. And we want it to feel as loose as we can. but we want to fret those notes nice and cleanly so we can pick each note and have them ring without buzzing. Now it's going to be difficult to hold that shape for too long. And fortunately, when we're playing it in the context of a song, we're not going to hold that shape for bars and bars and bars. It's going to go by relatively quickly. And just like with any chord we're learning, it's a good idea to take your fingers off the fretboard, put them back on, take them off, put them back on, take them off, put them back on, and try to train your hands to remember that shape. So we've learned A minor, and we've learned B7. I'm going to teach you how to play a minor blues now. It's going to sound like this. There we have it. Now we're keeping a similar groove going than we were when we learned Heart of Goal, which was in the previous lesson. We're just going down, 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 down with the right hand. Now to help this blues form make sense in our minds, I'm going to share with you some lyrics that I wrote just for this lesson. And I'm going to encourage you to make up your own lyrics. I'm going to speak them because this is going to be like a talking blues we're going to lay on everybody here. 
Tell me if you like it. I got a guitar. Gonna make it sing. They're all gonna scream and shout when they hear my six string ring. I got a guitar. Gonna make it sing. They're all gonna heave their hips when they hear me thrum this thing. <laughs> so I encourage you to make up your own words. Maybe you want to make it about a friend, you know, make a goofy song about a friend. I used to make songs up about my siblings, but it's fun to just kind of speak over a chord progression like that. It kind of connects us to the rhythm and the structure of music. Now, this is a blues progression, and this is kind of a 24 bar blues. And it's, it's nice and slow, it's nice and steady, there's lots of time between the chord changes. And what I want you to do is do four strums per beat. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So that's four bars. And if you follow along with the chord chart that I've provided, download my free beginner guitar guide, then you can play this chord progression. Just make sure you count the numbers. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four, eleven, two, three, four, twelve, two, three, four, thirteen, two, three, four, fourteen, two, three, four, fifteen, two, three, four, sixteen, two, three, four, seventeen, two, three, four. 17, 18, 2, 3, 4, 19, 2, 3, 4, 22, 3, 4, 21, 2, 3, 4, 22, 2, 3, 4, 23, 2, 3, 4, 24, 2, 3, 4. There's a tongue twister for you. That's a fun challenge to kind of separate the voice and the instrument. There's uh, something that feels very musical about doing that. So I hope you have fun playing that 12 bar blues progression. We just go from E minor to A minor, which we learned earlier, to a B7, back to an E minor. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to download my free beginner guitar guide, which is going to help you get the most out of this lesson series. And do let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Stick with it, persevere, show up as consistently as you can for short, bite-sized, focused sessions of going over the chords, going over the strumming pattern, and just getting as comfortable with the changes as you can. See you in the next lesson.